Last week, Boynet and Kayihura visited Migingo Island after claims that there was tension between communities living there. But both police chiefs say all is calm in Migingo. In order for us to bring to an end unnecessary suspicions on the part of some of our peoples, was to undertake joint patrols, and other joint missions, both on the on the on the islands in that area and on the waters. Would like to, to really bring to an end this this problem of these tensions. A lot of, a lot of times exaggerated. Uh, Mijingo Island. I, I was really surprised this time that there was there was harmony within the communities. Uh, there were no tensions. The two police forces were operating together like brothers. The two police bosses promised to ensure that there is peaceful coexistence between Kenyans and Ugandans living on the island, but both groups must respect the rule of law to avoid friction that has been reported previously, adding that they must do their fishing in accordance with the law. We tasked that joint task force to look At greater depth, all the allegations that were contained in the reports that we had received. We also recommended, we as police, that the relevant government departments from both sides should expedite the process of surveying. The row between Kenya and Uganda over the island first surfaced in 2008 after Kenyan fishermen were barred from fishing in the waters. Boynet says Kenya has set up a special police unit to look at security matters, especially transportation of contraband goods on the northern corridor all the way from Mombasa to Malaba. Masi Juma Okande, NTV.